Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Chantal, this is my basic journey. I live and travel in my minivan with my dog, Joey, and we are currently in Washington State. Um, I actually haven't picked up the camera in a couple of days. I've been driving a lot. Last you guys saw me, I was in the North Cascades and uh, there was a fire near Masma, so it closed down Route 20. And uh, I had to turn around and backtrack and it added about five hours of driving onto my little adventure of life. So I haven't been recording much at all. I've just been driving. Um, I did stop a couple of places. The first place was just past Stevens Pass um, on a Forest Service road. The first Iverlander spot we tried just absolutely sucked. It was right on the side of the road with nowhere to like just sit and hang out. So we just kept going for miles and miles and it felt like forever. <laughs> And yeah, I did have a lot of spots, but they were all kind of just the ones that are like a little pull off on the side of the road where you can just like pull off and park and sleep and then leave in the morning. Um, but it was like midday, so we wanted somewhere we could just kind of hang out. So we just kept driving and I ended up finding this free little campground in the middle of nowhere called Rainy Creek Campground. And it had about 10 sites and they were all huge and spacious and far apart and it was just beautiful with trails to the river. And I just couldn't believe that it was just out in the middle of nowhere. It, me and Joey went swimming at the creek. It was just a really good time. I was very, very pleased that I just kept going. I almost turned around too because the road does get a little steep. Now I'm at another free campground. Uh, it's called Ankeny. A-N-K-E-N-Y, and Kenny, and Kenny, and Keeney. It's on Banks Lake near Cooley City. I'm about two hours from Spokane, and I stayed here last night. And this campground, I mean, it is a campground. It has designated sites with fire pits, and there is a bathroom. Um, it's right on a lake. Uh, I was the only one here last night. There was one other person that was parked here when I pulled in. But they ended up leaving, so I had this whole place to myself. Besides a couple locals who came and like used the lake and then left, uh, I had it all to myself. And it was really nice. It is pretty hot. I'm pretty much central Washington at this point, where it's uh, almost deserty. In fact, as I was leaving the mountains and kind of driving into this deserty area, I was getting kind of sad because I'm really going to miss the West Coast. But... I did have fun visiting Washington. I've been here for almost three months now, and it has just been such a blast. Everywhere I've gone has been absolutely stunning, and now I'm ready for more fun and new adventures. So we are headed east from here, and we are currently going to Spokane. I have a few stops that I need to make along the way. I figured now would be a good time to update you guys since I'm getting ready to leave Washington and it's been a couple days since I've picked up a camera and put it in my face. So, hey, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. But we're going to leave this spot here in a few minutes. I'm just kind of cleaning up and packing up and getting ready to go. So let's go and enjoy our last day in Washington. I don't know if you guys can see those things flying around, but those are dragonflies, and there's so many out here. It's been pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen this many dragonflies in like one area before. This really was a nice little campground. Mm -hmm. 
I really, really like that it was free. However, this part of Washington is very warm this time of year. I'm happy they had a lake because really, yesterday after we got here, we just spent the day swimming, so. Come on, Joe. Ready to go? I'm in the little town of Davenport and I actually have a couple books I'm gonna give to this little free library I love these really we're just killing time right now while my laundry is being done it's a really cute little town though <laughs> All right, y'all, be right back again, okay? So hidden in the back of this laundry mat is a coin-operated shower. Three dollars for nine minutes. It's actually a really nice shower for inside this tiny town laundry mat. It has a bathroom in here. That's super cool, it's very tempting.
All right, you guys, I made it to Spokane, and uh, this is kind of like my last little stop in Washington before I head out of here. I'm going to be staying around this area today, and then tomorrow we'll be heading out into Idaho. But I did stop at a vegan restaurant that they have here in Spokane, Allie's Vegan Cafe and Pizza. And so we're just going to grab lunch, and then there's a park about four minutes from here that we're just going to go hang out at and eat lunch and enjoy the scenery before we go and find our place that we're going to be sleeping tonight. So let's get some pizza and go to the park. So the park we're at is super huge. Um, this is just one little section of it. This is like the lilac park area. Um, I could not find parking anywhere else, but I wanted to show you guys this pizza. Just look at this. This is the hot mess pizza. So it has some mac and cheese, some fried chicken, mozzarella on top, and then it also has some ranch on there. Does that not sound absolutely delicious? Yum. Okay, you guys, we ended up leaving that other park because it was really busy and came to this park. And look at that view of Spokane. You can see the whole town from up here. Baby Joe, where are we at? Are we at a new place? We're staying at this casino. So this is only the second time that I've ever stayed in a casino parking lot. And uh, I like it. I like the fact that I have other neighbors too. Like there are other people in their van. Like you can see this guy like right here. You know what I mean? Like I feel good knowing that I'm not alone <laughs> staying in this parking lot. It's nice, you know, it's comforting. There's a bathroom inside. There's a little grassy pit right there that Joey can go potty on. It's still pretty warm. It's like 85 degrees, which is warm, but it doesn't feel like that here. I don't know if it's like a dry heat or whatever but it definitely does not feel like 85 degrees. Um, granted, I'm sitting inside the van with the AC on right now, but we were sitting at that park for a few hours. We were sitting outside, I didn't have the AC on. It was really nice, it wasn't too bad. So hopefully it's not too crazy, but it is supposed to cool down overnight, so it'll be nice to sleep in, but we're staying at a casino tonight, you guys. I don't know if I'm actually gonna go in besides in the morning when I go to get some coffee, but I think that we're probably just gonna hang out in the van for the rest of the night and uh, eat some more pizza for dinner, and then we're gonna watch some, I don't know what we're gonna watch. I just finished my show, so I'm in between shows right now. I don't know what I wanna. Somebody give me some Netflix recommendations or Hulu. Uh, I feel like I watch the same shows over and over and over and over again. So that's what we're going to do. Um, this is my last night in Washington. I'm a little sad about it. <sighs> so we're leaving. We're dipping out early. I get nervous. I didn't want to be stuck in a fire. <laughs> so we're just going to skip it all. We're skipping all of that northeastern part of Washington and we're heading straight into Idaho tomorrow so 
I don't know. I think this is where I'm going to end this vlog. But I hope you liked this video and seeing the few places that I stayed for free the last few days and coming along with me while I do my errands because that's always so much fun. <laughs> But I hope you did like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, please do so below. I'll also put a link for my Patreon in the description box in case you guys want to check that out and help support my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!